Hey, hi, my name is Karabra, and today I'm going to discuss about the one of the use case in service now. So use case is how to send an email by clicking on button on record form where it will auto populate the details from the record and also add the required people into the email, which pop up window is there under the two and the C, CC and like into the BCC side. So let's get it into the demo side. So uh, I'm I have my uh, like customized table named as u underscore car of. So uh, I already created one button where I'm clicking on that button. This pop up window is populating. I hope everyone can see my window. If not, then I have to share that too. So I hope you guys are able to see my video. Yep, here we go. So this is the compose email. Whenever I'm clicking on this button, this compose email is a pop-up over there. And rest of the details from the this record is auto set over there. So how we can achieve it? So we have to remember the three points. One is the button. Second is this method call under that button. And third is the email client template. Remember, this is different from the email template. It's an email client template. So we have to utilize why these three combination, we can achieve the this requirement, like auto populate the details and send the email from like the uh, from a manual process correct okay so let's begin so what i did in email client template i said i given the name i select the table name like you underscore of and provided the condition like priority is one then tem this template will be applied so there is some tabs are there Contained recipients and sender configuration. So I'm going one by one, like uh, the content, you know, like uh, you already saw that. When I'm clicking on it, the subject and these are the details are populating. So we are setting it those those uh, 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 variables over there into the template, so that whenever this template is applied into the it, it auto set the values from the record. So short description, it's a fixed, and this is the field name, dollar, curly braces, short underscore description. We have a short on the, this field, correct? Short underscore description field. So what we are saying that, go to this table, see the short description, like whatever the current short description and set it over the, here. The same way, assignment group. See that, go to that table and see the assignment group over there. Same way, we can pop populate whatever the records have the field, we can populate over there. And it's all always be dynamic. Second, the recipients. What we are saying, we can use the JavaScript, correct? So gs.get user. So we are saying that the current user dot email who is logged in, like who is uh, performing the action. So that user's email will populate into the two section. So you can see when I'm clicking on it here, my email ID automat automatic populate. Second, what we are saying that it's assigned to. So under CC, we have a field assigned to. So it goes to the like <clears throat> the assigned to field and fetch out the email ID of the selected user. You can see. Uh, click on it. Yeah, here we go. It's a Freddy. Fred.lodi 
at the rate example.com. So after this, like if you want to add it any any SMTP details uh, like form sections, email client form address, you can make those changes. The scripts like on the script basis, if you want to think like you can do the changes you can do it like uh, by using that any modification or configuration correct so where that you can use the script include in an extensive way like if whenever you are getting any complex requirement like you have to take the data from the like two different uh, uh, tables and on that basis you have to populate that to those data so you can utilize this script over here like even the, your target like you can see that by by this argument under this function correct from address query and target so on that basis this object like what this object we can perform the actions so this is the overall thing and the logic like what we are going like what we are doing here we try to understand the logic when we are going to use this correct we not every time the like the your user or your requester is asking and you start uh, uh creating this button and on that basis you are creating the email no you have to think about before implementing these kind of like the solutions when you re really require like if it, for example, if you requester is saying that requester doesn't about doesn't know about your application, he knows about his requirement on his flexibility. It's like the, the way he's working, it will be more add-on, like more faster, more quick response. So that way they, they were thinking like they are on the business side. So let's say they are saying that hey. Got of I require that whenever I'm like whenever the criticality one is there, so it send all the details from the this required table or like whatever the field, uh, whatever the field is required. So those fields should be under the in any email or any uh, notification will be get to the users list of users, who is like opened by or assigned to people will be aware so that they will get the details frequently correct now you have to rethink really about it whether i can achieve via that notification whether i have to go for this type of modification now, whatever the discussion happened on that basis you you will understand that this is the notification side we can manage it but when the user add it like it let's say he said that i required one uh anything like any button where i can click on it and the rest of the data will be populated under it uh it's a kind of email that i require so that i can modify it and i can attach it and i can send it so at that moment you think about it yeah on this we required this functionality now we you going to utilize that functionality it's easy and very easy you can utilize those functionality and you can use it anywhere so this is the overall uh, uh, demo about the send email button like via your record and the record details will be populated over under the that's uh, compose email body so that's the overall thing thank you for watching this video and i hope i will uh, going to make you comfort on this uh, uh, new session so i will create more use cases thank you thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and like my videos thank you